And they'll back away. BKB is going to purchase 17 times. 15 and 2 with BKB. Well, hmm. Good item. Don't put pressure on the tier 1 tower. They're going to be back in, though. They're going to try to fight this, maybe? I don't Vendetta, think that's a good idea. Vendetta, Ice Path on a 2. There's no follow-up, though. And they get the tower. They're not going to really get this down. Meanwhile, top, they'll probably be at the tier 3 tower. And they will definitely be at the tier 3 tower. Yeah, they're, they're going to be at the tier 3 tower. They should probably start TPing here, though. So they don't get any damage. Really didn't, but how? Alright, no creep wave. Goodbye, creep wave. Oh, the creep wave's still alive! Mech it! It doesn't matter. Oh. You get 10 seconds after the creep's down to this. Oh, they're going to go now. They do put some pressure on. So tower. they do hold the base. Thanks they to some nice play for me. They could go so. top, I think. Yeah, okay. Well, never mind. No, they can't. <laughs> That's a dead creep wave. I mean, Envy loses a lot of mana, and yes, it might be a lot every single time, but... Actually... Two, three towers dead, and they're gonna put some pressure on the racks down. Divine Rapier chewing away at this melee racks. They've got to fight here. Ice Path, Illidan is fine. Macro Power coming in, ball lighting. Cole as well, swap from FNG, maybe. Doesn't use yet. Dagon goes in. You will sift her up in the air. He is still very, very tanky. He is actually taking no damage despite all of the abilities used on Illidan in the Storm Range. They pop the melee racks and they back away. And they're gonna go to the high ground now. They're gonna try to fight here. And he just blows up the creep wave. It's just that easy. Envy with the ridiculous blades on Storm Spirit. Pilot Eye, Fire Blast, that's his fear. This is ridiculous. Uh, Scepter, we die again. Storm's gonna go. Envy does roll it in play. Yeah, but he's just his time. He can pull this card out. Black Hole going into Phobos. He's gonna fall. He doesn't have buyback again. They have to go top now and they have to do it quickly. Illidan going to work. They do take the range racks and it looks like they might take a full set of racks here. Yule Scepter going in, ball lighting all the way through. Envy wants to fight BKB for Illidan. How many heroes can he kill? He is going to work. Envy's getting right clicked down. Stop up the bash. Envy's done. He has to buy back. Two buybacks coming out from Cloud9. They have to hold this. Uh -oh. It's so difficult. Ball lighting all the way through. Envy going to try to fight yet again. AY is walking, but with no black hole, this is difficult. Envy's going to work on middle, but back in the base. They do use the Aegis coming out from Illidan. He is done. Macro yeah, Power goes up. AY gets once. to the kill. They're still chasing after Mag. Malphite goes. In the base, what's happening? Multicasted. Illidan almost out of mana. The Impale, the Rapier is going to be on the deck soon. He's still alive. They can't kill him yet, but he will fall momentarily. That's going to be a Divine Rapier down on the ground. They team wipe. Offering to Roshan. Oh, he TP'd mid. Fata is in some trouble. Illidan is going to work. Fata is going to die. Envy is back right. up in five seconds. He has no buyback. Illidan's just going to run away. They actually can't kill him with Fata. Ball, ball lightning in. Envy's going to try to fight. Maybe ball lightning. He's getting low on mana. Envy can't go toe to toe with this hero. He did nothing. Oh my god. Okay, now he has to run. He has to run. She puts a little pressure on the tier 3 tower. His heroes are coming in. Fontes walk back. They do have Ma uh, Black Hole. AUY 2000. Zeus Salt 1 comes in. BKB. Oh, Black Hole is going to go. No, he can't get it off. The Stone Gaze. Big Bash is coming in from Mag. They get one. Buyback in from AUY 2000. Envy is TPing back home. Code 7 tiers. Well, pops the ice path, but no follow up damage coming in. Illidan goes to the Raxes. Bone 7 and AUI, they're in a good position. They have Blink Dagger. They need a Black Hole, but they can't get any damage. Fox is dead again. Look at the damage coming in. Ball Lightning, Ice Path, Orchid going in. Magic Missile. It does get dodged. Earth Splitter goes in. AUI 2000 can't afford to die. The Bash from Mag. He's down for 103 seconds. This might be a Cloud 9. The road might be done in Dota Pit. Virtus Pro Polar, they've taken Mega Creeps. And all they have to do is just knock down these Tier 4 Towers. What a game so far from Illidan Storm Rage. Virtus Pro Polar, making so much space around him, he's going to work on the tier fours now, and Envy has to find some way to get this done, and I don't think there's a possibility. The effigy's gone, Envy jumps in, not much mana left in the tank, but he's still okay. Four step out, Mac pops the BKB, you will have to throw up for Envy. Can they get the stop? He does pull light and away. One tier gone, the other one getting chewed down by Elden Storm Rage. The Ancient now exposed, the creeps in the well, Envy doing what he can. Pops the BKB, Illidan still low with the Orkin now, he's actually out of mana here. Take a lot of damage, Envy's trying to man up here, they'll right click though, the Zeus ult from DK Phobos, and that is your GG. It is a team by Virtus Pro Polar, they do the improbable, they 2-0 Cloud9, your second place finishers at the summit, they will finish.
in the second round of Dota Pit and Virtus Pro Polar with an amazing series, an immaculate series, unbelievable. There you go. Speaking of the devil, Tonga Syra comes out. She Very sings good that lullaby way to weather the first night time too. This is the first third of the series um, by DK Lobos. Up top, Grizzly in a bit of trouble. He'll get hit by a Maledict. Cast bouncing around. All oh, the coconuts for Lady Mana Void's there. Yo, the Legion Commander gets messed up. Top, my man Victor might find a kill on the Will Hardy, getting some vision, and yeah, nowhere for Hardy to go, but Illidan comes back in, makes it a double. That's that's naked. Nagas usually get bottled, right? Yeah, never wasn't though. Oh, oh, there you go. I mean, that makes up for it, but that adds to the, the nudity here of this whole queen. She also has the spell. Yeah. We got a 12-minute battle fury up on Hill and then, and that is with power trends, so great timing for him. You know who really has that in this game? It's team. <laughs> Cole has been having some really nice sleeps this game. Like he has a couple of, maybe a minute before the ocean fight, uh, but they didn't have enough. So better for my sleeps. Although TA did get the last hit and get the beats, so I think overall that's a win for my sleeps. But still not going down this way. It's another tower. So this is your benchmark for really long. So 19 minutes, shreds, battle fury, flads, manta, yeah, that's pretty big. 14,000 death damage compared to the 8.2 of Naga. Naga does, by the way, have the radiance and clock that time. Seventeen minutes or so for those VOTs posted up a while ago before he's getting scared. Same with the LC, Grizzy and just the opposite of what this game. Only fifty last hits, fifteen hundred. Moving in tar. Yeah, it really is. Oh charge. Oh. I mean and the more they gank this LC and stop her from getting the, the blink, the, the better this gets. You know, DK Phobos comes in, there's the cleanse, but hey, it's Mag! Illidan even joins the party, and no way LC will live this one. Victor, hey Frosty! Crossing the snowman gonna get melted up here. The mana boy doing so much damage. Lizard and Cole just getting cleaned up. An ultra kill for Illidan. Oh man, this is another Christmas Eve massacre here, Merlini. Could we possibly see a rampage? Milan kiting around the tower, doing what he can. Where's the detection, boys? Oh, come on. Now Milan gonna be able to live. Melt strike. Oh, breaks it a little early. Now Illidan coming back in. No mana boy. That would be an easy kill. He will have to let the TA walk away. Really wanted that rampage. God, I wanted it so bad. A Christmas Eve rampage? Come on. That's every kid's dream. No reason not to back on up. Will Hardy's got that first point. Moody Restoration now. Healing up the team. These illusions just getting cut down. No glyph. This is the fight for MYI. They can't make a hold here. It looks like they never will. Grizzy gets jumped on. Illidan brings him down again. No Blade Dagger for you this game, LC. He's actually giving up and going back for Blade now type stuff. Mid lane of Barracks just get cleaned up. Io dies before he can even react. Net pops the Lincolns. And MYI simply has no response. They need charge in on the Victor. Can't even do play by play here. They just die too fast. Uh oh, Milan Casket. I heard that one. Jesus. It's like three shot by Ilden. 19 0 and 1. I mean, that is pretty close to a perfect game, I think, from Ilden. Everything going his way from the lane to the movements to the stacks. To the kills, I mean, wow. If you're looking for how can I improve my farming, just download this replay and check out what the AM is. I mean, that was. The Legion Commander is coming in, putting some damage in there, but the right clicks, the right click should be enough, even with the stick and the Buddha restoration. It is enough, but the puck is coming in. Look at this. All three of them are exploding at the moment. The right clicks. Ogre is the last survivor, and they're running. Even Necroman coming through that fight won't make too much of a difference. He might be able to hold them back. Yeah, actually, the chains on two, but now he's in the break. But he's coming back. That damage off the remnant, not enough. But still, the Ember is going down. But the question is, yeah, how much do they pay for it? At the moment, they pay with two. But Alphonia, now with the support of the Witch Dog, I don't think they can kill the Wisp, especially if there's someone coming close. On tower, but that's it. Did you take account how many kills were there? It was a massacre. If they just get the stun, there's the Fire Blast, Jackman for follow, Whirling Death as well, Timber Chain, didn't go for it, there's the Dream Point, they want to turn it around for 16 man mob, he's gonna have the duel in one second, can he use it, they're gonna lose the Ogre already, Ava might lose his life as well, Nisito, comes in with the relocate, he's 
couldn't be enough about them. Goes down to the Demer Chain. Napa Ninja escapes Necromancer. Nice is just joined out. Double lane. If you would right so he's just folding his two fans. Artist needs a pounce to connect anything at all. Even that might be enough. He pounces onto Hava. Shadow Dance activated. Stays alive with the magic one. Necromancer still being chased down. Finally, getting, getting another double lane. Just Napa Ninja. Go on and look for the first. Or the first will win. Oh, what? Three man moves the forest. They're coming. Now another people from the wall. Earth gonna land on only one, but he's just fought them so low. Dread gets the kill of the last punch of the enemy. There's the S1 as well. They keep on fighting artists and pumps back in. There's the double edge. Engage. Uh, for Ninja, he popped the dream call completely with because Sexy Mevo got the blink out. Chip shine. He's gonna get chased down. Artist gets the pump as well. Uh, a one kill, sexy memo, blink, coming off cooldown, can you catch anybody with the duel? A overwhelming odds for the extra movement speed, and he's gonna go for Gorets first, the tanky F0, of course, sexy memo, but they don't care, Necromant does so much, but the death ward, it's actually enough to get the counter kills, are you kidding me, Earth Splitter as well, Hava, he's gonna get thrown up in the air, we get the be to kill first, more slight of fist from Necromant, but that's actually a pretty damn good fight, Gorets still alive as well, AC, proves to be pretty good, but there's the stun onto Necromant, they're gonna get the kill again, Gorets, he gets a triple kill, HWA gonna get silenced up artist, he needs a little bit more dark pack, he's gonna get the kill, the pounce onto Hava maybe, wow wow wow, Slark, he died in return man. Yeah, that was not really worth it, like the buyback Wisp for his death, camp those tier 3 towers and get them done slowly. They could do so, I mean, they have another about a minute and a half to try to use the ages, slight of fist. <laughs> They're under the creep, oh hoofed of misses from Gordax, huge misses in opening. They're gonna get the multicast as well, he finally gets the BKB up, so he's alive, but f ninja you will set it up, Hawa, he wants to go for him as well, they're gonna wait for it, a nice spaceship for the time being, but they can't lose the puck, he gets the blink out, so damn crucial, nice echo stomp lands at least onto free, f ninja gonna go in with a dream coil, I think, there's the Earthbitter, lands on free as well, Necroman, he goes down, there's the Aegis pop, he already bring down Hawa, and he pops his own BKB, he stays alive for a little bit, Gordas is right clicks, RT said the, whoa, Necroman, he got demolished, Natural Order is a hidden carry in the making. Nihis is gonna lose his life as well. Chip sign, gonna go to the high ground, but the TP out, the Hoofstom stops it. They get 5 kills. Although he doesn't have buyback, Artist still wants to go for Chip sign, gonna get the pounce as well. He does a ridiculous amount of damage to Grenade, although he doesn't have too many items. Gotham still alive, finally goes down to the double chakram. Dread, he's still alive, Natural Order is there, split their fuse, sexy bimbo. He's gonna go for the duel onto Gorez, but. He's gonna lose too much life just to return Gordas, he has too much strength, he does quite a lot of right damage himself as well. A nice stun onto Hava that stops the chain, and Upper Ninja gets the Hex onto Necromant, that might Necro. be the get the kill, yes! Money is relocated the Sword Engine cooldown, slight of fist, gets out. Oh, oh god, has he lost the Rapier, it might have been all done, but he is, he's gonna lose his life man. Necromant, he is so low for the defense. Yeah, it's Necro against the rest of the world, I mean his slight of fist is very dangerous though, so... Hellraiser's decision is now going from or going for Mega Creeps. At the moment, they do both, and I think that is exactly the right thing to do. But look at Micro Slider Fist, even bringing Gorak down, but with the Hex, they might actually finish the game right now here. He's dying, fine on the crown, crown. GG, well played by Hellraiser's. I did not see this one coming. Five minutes ago, if you would have asked me, Hefla, what would you have bet for, it would have been he he. Hell races, they didn't care about any ratios whatsoever. They just turned this around. Man, I thought I can say that he he are the best of one champions, but Hell Race. As he finally turns about. But down bottom is kind of a dive here as they are looking for an opportunity. They have a lot of spells in their arsenal. They split them up. That's the big thing here. Is they get everybody split. A weird little leap from Bone 7 though, and Illidan gets shielded up to keep dealing the damage. It's gonna be Lil to go down first as uh, no, he gets healed. He's still alive, and Illidan's gonna jump onto Bone 7. They bring him down. Nobody has fallen on the side of VP Polar, and Aoi might fall as well. There is going to be a blink coming out in just three seconds time from Illidan and he will look to finish off the twin-headed dragon. Magic stick not going to be enough to save him here. It's a double kill for Illidan. Won't be able to go for the third. They, they couldn't afford any more mistakes that last fight. They just, they're outgunned. They don't have the net worth to try to fight this out, especially uh, not the supports, but in this case not Illidan either. GG should be coming out in just a moment. They do pick off the Marana, but these racks are so easy for E to bring down. Yeah, basically.
Antimage giving the Verona a lot of hate and brought her down twice in the last two fights. There's the, the Aegis, out of here. and there's not going to be any shapeshift coming out of this. It's one of the weaknesses of giving life in that Aegis, and he's not even quite able to get that Rex. Does nice. get the melee very low for 150, but that will regen. Probably won't really matter at the end of the day, but... Well, this could be interesting. Here in RP. It's going to be onto two. Catches Eternal Envy and AUI in that, but oh, Illidan's going to jump onto Feta, so Feta not able to. <gasps> no, 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 the Nightmare did oh interrupted the Mana Void, and now they're going to try to turn it around onto Illidan. He'll blink out here. MKB is also going to be helpful in killing Phobos, but Lycan is down for like 100 seconds. Aegis, remember, was given over to Bone 7 on the Mirana, and Aegis didn't even go down. He wasn't focused that much. Uh, I guess Abaddon is going to next time, so there's no hope of the game. Fado uh -oh. will whip the Nova 100%, but can he oh, find the base. sheep? He does right now. This is FNG they're trying to bring He's down. Going to the base. Go Scepter. Ah, they're just buying the time. Meanwhile, Lycan will fall down for 100 seconds. Got some damage onto the throne. FNG's going to drop here. And now that Lycan's dead, Illidan not scared of anyone, as we just talked about. The sheep's even on cooldown, and Illidan just going to go ahead and clean everybody up. But can go around to Bone 7, getting the bashes, finds the kill there. Three on Cloud9 dead. Ancient is still under attack. It's AUI that's just trying to end this game now with the Liquid Fire. He's going to try to blink away. And yeah, yeah, Bruce the only one. But they killed him. He's going to force it out now. They don't have any. That's what I was getting at. I got him. But they gotta, they gotta make sure this drunken haze is very effective. Like the BKB timing for Eternal Envy, he wants to take off the haze, he wants to go for the throne. But double RP from back here, great follow up from Illidan, and they wipe them out of the base. Bone 7 has to go in full retreat, and a nice juicy free fight for Illidan once again as he racks up. Oh, okay, the swap in? Can they get open doing so much? Oh my god, Lil! What a fucking play! Cyclone the leap. Catches him in the face, he's down again, and they need to force these buybacks. Force the buyback on the Lycan, force the buyback on the Marana, and they get back in the gun here. Oh, and now what? you come in with the mag, the skewer. Finally dies actually gonna dodge the skewer, and Anthony is gonna jump straight onto him right now. Bone 7 is gonna do what he can, but Illidan is just, just gonna kill base. everybody. Envy just running straight in for the throne, but there's still a glitch. There's people here. Okay, actually, Feta and Jakiro and Lycan are all pressure. here. Everyone's got to run back. Lil's dead. Anti-Mage is here, though, and they're not going to be able to do anything about it. He's probably going to kill Feta as well. He'll get Yul's up here. I think that's AUI throwing up in the air. Maybe an ice path as well, but Illidan is just running after him. And he's going to bring him down. It's unstoppable, and C9... And it's probably a gigabyte at this point. Oh, bottom. They're just going in. <laughs> Pops the split. This is a fast little sheep, man. He's been running around a lot. He turns back around to get some right clicks. Could this be the end? Pile dies is going to die up top. No buy back there. AUI respawning fist. They're actually, this is the first time everyone's been in the Ancient in a long time, if not oh, the Magnus first time. Down. Magnus is going to go down. He's he got the buy back available right now. They force it, they back out with Flutter. Big. He's got his refresher soon, but not the standard RP. So they're going to hold on. Is Antimage killing off the Venomancer? I don't know why he's stuck around to right click the Ancient a few more times. It's going to regen anyways, but it is what it is. Venomancer down, boys. Where, what, 5v4? What the fuck? They're microing Bane. The dead people are my. Oh, he might be dead for 50 seconds. But they figured this might be the game breaker, so. Yeah, I feel like Cloud9 have uh, fallen here. I don't think Ghost right, let's go strong enough. Vata. Yeah. But this is a love. Being right clicked down. No four staffs for him. He will. He lives? Fall. At least a little bit longer. He can put. I, I feel like he should throw out the Nova. I, I don't think it really makes a big difference, but I think it gets yeah. him even a little bit lower. But so the cooldown is shorter than his death timer. He can't buy back. Yeah. So yeah. But whatever. Anyways, top rack's gonna get hit here. No Enfeeble coming out just yet from Pilot Eye. Only the Nightmare trying to keep him off of it. There's the Enfeeble, but still all the racks will fall. They will not fortify this. It's very important. They need the fortify for the tier fours and for the ancient only. Now we see down bottom, there is going to be Aoi 2000 getting stunned up, has his hex, double, he could refresh out another Macropire, but Mag's got that BKB, they will lock him down, Aoi is down for the count, he just fought back. So die back there, we see them not... Nightmare <laughs> 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 Dude, that went up forever! They're about oh to kill God. Illidan! Boat 7 respawn! He's got sheeped up, he'll go down, another divine on the ground, and the like... GG! And you know Feta was playing that, I feel like he just made the play of the game, unfortunately it's the one that they're gonna lose off of. The throne explodes. G fucking G. Like, wow, I mean, how to wrap that up? That was a two-hour game with a very long pause at the end.
but in the end, uh, it is going to be Anthony Mage to, to prove himself the top dog. <laughs>